Segundo o Climate Atlas of Canada, os registros meteorológicos de todo o país mostram que todos os anos, desde 1998, têm sido mais quentes do que a média do século XX. Isso significa que toda uma geração de canadianos nunca experimentou o que a maior parte da história moderna considerou um clima canadiano normal. Mas não é apenas o Canadá, é claro. Todo o planeta está ficando mais quente. E foi para discutir esse assunto que a deputada federal para Davenport, Julie Zerowitz, organizou um evento na quinta-feira, dia 7 de março. You know, uh, well, here's what I hear. Uh, Davenport residents are worried about climate change. They see, look, even today in March, it's 10 degrees. Uh, yesterday it was 16 degrees. It never happens at this time of the year. We're worried about the billions of dollars we're spending on forest fires, on floods. It's not just happening here in Canada. It's happening also in Portugal, in countries right around the world. Climate change is real. And so it was really important for me to bring the minister to give an update to the community about how it is that our federal government has a climate change plan, how we're going to reduce emissions, and how we're going to do it in a way that is affordable for all Canadians. O ministro que ela se refere é o de Energia e Recursos Naturais, Jonathan Wilkson. Entre os assuntos abordados por ele, estavam a possível suspensão de subsídios para empresas fósseis, a construção do gasoduto que está em andamento no Canadá e que deve terminar em seis meses, e a criação de empregos sustentáveis, aqueles que contribuem para reduzir emissões de carbono, ou para melhorar a qualidade ambiental. Well, I mean, the uh, the government has put in place or published an, a, an interim sustainable jobs action plan that's available on the website that sort of talks about the initiatives we're taking in two, including economic development with each province and territory. We have before parliament a, um, a draft bill that is actually going to put in place the architecture to ensure that we actually are hearing from labor and industry and indigenous communities on an ongoing basis about the things that we need to do to advance that conversation. So we are very far advanced. I actually was in Hamilton talking to the labor movement today about how we can work together to actually create the economy of the future that's going to, you know, provide good union jobs moving forward. O ministro também comentou sobre o green buildings. No momento não há mais dinheiro disponível para dar continuidade a este programa. Mas o governo do Canadá, segundo ele, deve lançar um outro em breve. Well, what will differentiate it is it will be targeted a bit more towards people on lower and moderate incomes, um, so that we're enabling people who really need help with their energy bills to reduce energy costs. It will uh, it will be larger amounts of money than the five thousand dollars to enable them to do things like implement a heat pump or put insulation in their homes. So that's that's what the focus is going to be. Of course, we want to see other people who have higher incomes do retrofits and so we will continue with the $40,000 zero interest loan to incent that.